All right, 3.1, identify pairs of lines and angles. Okay, you guys kind of already know what parallel lines are. Two lines are parallel if they do not intersect and they are coplanar. Now, just a reminder, this little symbol means parallel. <coughs> Sorry. Coplanar means the lines are in the same plane. So, for example, in this diagram, AE and BF would be parallel because they're both in the same plane. BC and FG, those are parallel. Um, DC and HG, those are parallel. So anything like that. If they do not intersect and they are, in, and they are coplanar. Now, skew lines. Like Two lines are skew if they do not intersect and they are not coplanar. So for example, AB and FG. These two lines, as you can see, they don't intersect, but they're not coplanar, so they would be skew. Or DH and BC, those would be skew lines. Okay, parallel planes are a lot like parallel lines. Two planes that do not intersect are parallel planes. So for example, plane ABF and plane um, DCG, the top and the bottom, those are parallel planes. Plane ADC, that's the front, and plane EHG, that's the back, those are parallel planes also. All right, this one might be new. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at different points. So for example, in this diagram, um, we'll ju let's just imagine that lines M and N are parallel. They don't have to be parallel, but let's just say they are. Line T is the transversal because it intersects both of these lines, these coplanar lines, at two different points, here and here. Okay, corresponding angles. Two angles are corresponding angles if they have corresponding positions. Remember, this little symbol means angles. So for example, um, angle one and angle five. Both of these angles are on the left side at the top. You see? So those would be corresponding angles. Another example would be angle three and angle seven, because both of those are on the right side at the bottom. Okay? All right, alternate interior angles. Two angles are alternate interior angles if they lie between two lines on opposite sides of the transversals. All right, there are two key words in here. The word alternate means opposite sides. So if you're looking for alternate angles, one of the angles needs to be on one side of the transversal and the other angle has to be on the other side of the transversal. The word interior means inside or in between. So in this case, um, alternate interior angles, an example would be angle four and angle six. Notice how both of those angles are in between lines M and M. They're in between the lines and that we have one on each side of the transversal. Another example would be angle three and angle five. Once again, in between the lines, on opposite side to the transversals. Transversal, sorry. Alternate exterior angles are very similar, except there's one difference. Two angles are alternate exterior angles if they lie outside the two lines on opposite sides of the transversal. Okay, so once again, two keywords. Alternate means that it's on opposite sides of the transversal. So same as the, the previous type of angles we just discussed. But exterior means they're outside the line. So for example, angle one and angle seven would be alternate exterior angles because they're on opposite sides of a transversal but they are outside lines M and M. Also, lines two, or sorry, angles two and eight would be alternate exterior angles, okay? Last one, consecutive interior angles. Two angles are consecutive interior angles if they, oops, forgot the E, sorry, the Y. 
if they lie between the two lines on the same side of the transversal. Okay, so keywords, consecutive means same side. And you guys already know that in interior means inside or in between the lines. So for example, over here, four and five would be consecutive interior angles. They're on the same side of the transversal, so they're consecutive, but they're interior because they're in between lines M and M. In the same way, angles three and six are consecutive interior, okay? Because they're on the same side of the transversal and they're in between lines M and N. Okay. All right, let's go on to page two. Example one, think of each segment in the figure as part of a line. Which lines or planes in the figure appear to fit the description? Lines parallel to AF and containing point E. All right, I'm looking at this diagram. It looks like they made a mistake in the picture because there are two A's. Let me fix this. Let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F. This is probably G. This is probably H. All right, we'll just go with that. Okay, so lines parallel to AF containing point E. All right, so there's a bunch of lines parallel to AF. There's B, G. C, H, D, I, E, G, but the only line parallel to AF of those lines that contains point E is line E, J, okay? Okay, line skew to AF containing point E. All right, so once again, here's AF. Skew means it's not parallel, but it still doesn't intersect. It's basically not in the same plane as AF. So for example, BC is skew. This line is never going to intersect. CD, same thing. It's never going to intersect AF. It's skew. ED also. Um, GH over here. HI and IJ. So those, um, those six lines are all skew to AF. Of these six lines, only line DE contains point E. All right, now, perpendicular to AF, we have AB, AE, FJ, and FG. Of those lines, only AE contains point E. Planes parallel to FGH, that's the back one here, and containing point E. There's only one plane in this diagram that is parallel to this plane, and that's the front. Uh, you could call it ABE or anything like that, okay? All right, I'll let you guys do this checkpoint on your own. Let's go on to page three. The parallel postulate. If there is a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one line through the point parallel to the given line. Likewise, if there is a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one point through the point perpendicular to the given line. So basically, if you have a line and some point, I'll, I'll draw it over here. Let's say you have this line and some point. I can draw exactly one line through that point parallel to the given line. Also, I could draw exactly one line through that point, Whoop, that doesn't look very perpendicular, perpendicular to the given line. Okay? That's what this is saying. Example two, name a pair of parallel lines. Well, let's see here. In the diagram, line AB is parallel to line CD. Okay. Name a pair of perpendicular lines. Well, AB is perpendicular 
to line AC is AB perpendicular to BC. Now here's AB, here's BC. AB is not perpendicular to BC because AB is perpendicular to AC and by the perpendicular postulate there is exactly one line perpendicular um, to AB through C. Alright, I'll let you guys do the checkpoint. Let's go on to the last page. <clears throat> okay, two angles are corresponding angles if they have corresponding positions. For example, angle 2 and angle 6 are above the lines and to the right of transversal T. So both of these, angles 2 and 6, would be corresponding angles. Two angles are alternate interior angles if they lie between the two lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. So over here, 4 and 5, they're in between these two lines on opposite sides of the transversal. So these are alternate interior angles. Two angles are alternate exterior angles if they lie outside the two lines on opposite sides of the transversal, kind of like angles one and eight. And two lines are, I'm sorry, two angles are consecutive interior angles if they lie between the two lines on the same side of the transversal. Another name for consecutive interior is same side interior angles. Okay? Alright. For example, identify all pairs of A corresponding angles. Well, let's see here. Angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding angles. Okay. Angle 2 and angle 4 are corresponding angles. Angle 5 and angle 7. And the last two would be angle 6 and angle 8. Part B is alternate interior angles, so angle 2 and angle 7, they're on opposite sides of the transversal and they're in between these two lines. Also, angle 3 and angle 6. Alternate exterior angles, well we have angle 5 and angle 4. We also have um, angle 1 and angle 8. And consecutive interior, angle 2 and angle 3, and angle 6 and angle 7. Alright, I'll let you guys do these last two, and that's all for today.